In our morning rounds, the growing worldwide battle to stop the coronavirus outbreak. Scientists say drugs used to treat other viruses like HIV and the flu may be adaptable to treat coronavirus. More than 400 Americans are among the cruise ship passengers quarantined in Japan after 20 passengers tested positive for the illness. There's also a new case in Wisconsin, which brings the number of confirmed patients in the United States to 12. Worldwide, there are more than 28,000 cases, including at least 565 fatalities. Our Dr. David Agus is here to show how a potential treatment might work. Uh, good morning, doctor. Good morning. So how might uh, doctors take drugs used for other things and apply them to this scenario? So coronavirus, it's actually a family of viruses, gets inside the human cells and uses the human's machinery to divide. We have molecules that block its ability to do that. Those are drugs that were developed originally for HIV and for the flu. And so while there are clinical trials ongoing now in China, there are anecdotes of them being used and people getting better and the virus is clearing very quickly. In fact, they were used and developed for SARS or MERS also. So there's pretty good data that they'll benefit people with this. So even if a treatment is identified, how accessible is it likely to be? Well, that's the problem is that, you know, as soon as we say, hey, this is going to work, there's a run on the stores, right? Because doctors can write prescriptions for anything. And these are rather inexpensive medicines. Right now, most chemicals are made in China. And what do you know it? All the plants are closed now in China. So we're not going to be able to make more. So we certainly don't want to run on them. Um, but that being said, these drugs are FDA approved and on the market today, so they're available. I remember when there were zero cases in the United States, and now we just said there are 12. So it does seem frightening. How worried should we be? How worried are you? Uh, I'm not worried in the United States. We, we Why have not? very effective treatments to, to deal with the symptoms of it. I mean, the problems you have with it and potentially to fight it with these antivirals. Even though there's no vaccine? Even though there's no vaccine. Vaccines will prevent it, but we have good treatments and we, we have very it. good care to <clears throat> take care of the coughing, the breathing issues, the diarrhea and the others. We're pretty good at that. You're seeing it happen in the middle of China where there really wasn't much health care. Mm -hmm. And there the death rate is going to be dramatically above what it would be here or elsewhere. There are going to be 40 to 60,000 deaths of flu in the United States this year. That number will be nowhere near approached by the coronavirus. So to, to avoid some sort of a China-like outbreak here, what other steps can be taken? Well, I think anybody who has symptoms, you know, un needs to be tested. Unfortunately, you got to go to a doctor's office to be tested. It's kind of a weird phenomenon. You're sick. You go to a doctor's office where you can cough on anybody else and they can cough on you. Um, I so think, at I some point, think about that when I'm in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, you go with your kids. So. And you don't want to touch a thing in that office because you know there are you know bacteria and viruses on it. My hope is in the future these testing can be done at home. But right now, if you have symptoms, and if, so to anybody who's been in the Far East. You probably want to be tested. And what are the symptoms you should go to the doctor for? Like what? You know it. You, you know, flu-like symptoms. It is very similar to the flu, which is the good and the bad, and it's mixed up. But yesterday, the CDC released 200 test kits across the country to 100 labs. Mm. So now, testing can be done in four hours. It used to all be done at the CDC. And that's pretty heroic in two weeks to develop test kits for the country. All right, David A. It's always good to have you at the table in person. It's great to be here. You look the same on TV. Thank hey, you. <laughs>